Hello, Varlets. Welcome to another episode of How a Bad Player Manages Soft Carry Games. Today I'm just going to briefly go into my veteran sharpshooter uh, shredder auto pistol build. Uh, you can see links in the description on my detailed guide as well as my detailed playthrough. Uh, for this, I'm just going to briefly show you the build rather than give you a detailed explanation of it. If you just want to see see the items and the feats so that you can uh, get this build up and running and see what I was playing in my playthrough guide. Uh, so I've got the power sword, uh, carapace armored perk, flak armored perk, power cycler, slaughterer for my blessings. I've got my shredder auto pistol. Uh, doesn't really matter what your second perk is here, but 25% damage or 20% damage to flak armored enemies is what you're going for in the perks. Blaze away, pinning fire, anything two, three, four will work on these, but these are your blessings of choice. Uh, I highly recommend at least two of your curios being uh, toughness uh, blessings, and for perks, you can go with toughness, regen speed, and basically any units that you uh, struggle with. Honestly, pick uh, pick the damage resistance for the things that are killing you the most. Uh, for your third one, you can pick either of another toughness, uh, max health, or if you tend to go down a lot, you know maybe starting off with the plus one wounds to keep you from full dying uh, is the way to go. In terms of feats, I've got confirmed kill. This is an absolute amazing, amazing feat. Uh, demolition stockpile. Uh, this keeps me in grenades at all times during the game. This is an absolute beast of a feat. Uh, bioptic targeting. Don't listen to the haters about kill stealing on this one. Absolutely uh, one of the best feats in the game. It gives your entire team wall hacks. It is, in my opinion, an absolute must for any sharpshooter build, but it definitely serves its purpose for you here. Unwavering Focus. This is the linchpin to the build. Again, check the description uh, for the links to my gameplay walkthrough. You will see how effective this is. 75% toughness damage reduction from ranged attacks during volley fire. And uh, one after another is the optimal choice here. Uh, you'll see when I play, I run Fragstorm. Uh, I'm just going to briefly go into this, but check the description in the link. Uh, for my actual detailed explanation for why these two are a choice. Um, but basically, I don't need this. I've gotten good enough at reloading and continuing to upkeep my volley fire. So I use Fragstorm now, but one after another is your choice here to start with. And then Counterfire is your last pick. Designating all those shooters as priority targets is an absolute must for this build. It maintains your volley fire for longer which is the entire purpose of this build, is to keep your volume fire up and running as long as possible. Uh, again, check, check those uh, links in the description. Good luck out there. Please watch my detailed uh, gameplay walkthrough to really understand how to use this build to get yourself into some high-intensity damnation runs. And you will definitely get to the point, doesn't matter if you're a bad player like me, uh, you'll definitely get to the point where you can soft carry and maybe even hard carry some of those runs. Good luck out there. Hope you kill some heretics.